Okay, so today's session will be focused on the render graph in two parts. The first part is what I want to do is I want to be able to redirect output uh, from being displayed on the window to be able to put it out to a file, like the raw, the raw frame content, rather than having to use an external program or print screen and what have you. No, I want to be able to have basically hook up a button where I can just click it and one particular rendered frame just goes straight out a file. And it's as raw a form as possible uh, for analyses or comparison or something in the future. Because the primary purpose of doing that is to get more of a look back at the render graph and figure out uh, things to do with the render graph. Probably refine it. So things like uh, the... For a lot of... Um, <clears throat> for a number of jobs, I have to specify both the resource and like uh, the state I want it to be in afterwards. Whereas like that's not really how it should be. Realistically, it should be like it should be able to figure out like what state it should be between jobs. And I also need I'm also pretty sure like it's a very I don't have validation or verification that like jobs or resources between jobs, like if it's being used by one job and then it's used in a, like a read-only state between two jobs in parallel, I want to make sure, validate that those two jobs are both have like the same uh, resource state requirement uh, at the same time. And then like if any job like after that uses those two jobs, the resource after those two jobs, that they can probably like... Um, they can properly, I don't know, work properly is basically what I'm trying to say. So to begin with is export the file. I'm just going to require a an image. I need to save to an image. So to begin with, let's go to libs, graphics resource, source in here is an image loader, which is using free image. So I want to reuse that library for the moment in the main application. Just put this up here somewhere, it up here. Now, I, I do recall the image initialized, initialized. And then I need to, okay, afterwards I need to deinitialize it. E And then I need to actually output something. Uh, so I need to what free? I need to okay. First, I need to create an image or allocate one, which is let's say five twelve and five twelve with bytes per pixel. I believe is eight times four thirty two. That's no pointer. I'm not sure what that is. Let me actually grab the documentation for it. Free image 3180. Okay. Here it is. So I need to go down to wherever the allocation or creation. Okay. Bitmap image. This is not interactive. So page six. Okay, I got an allocate here. Mm, okay, get rid of the EX then. Everything else is defaulted. They're the masks, the uh, red, green, blue masks. So that's fine. Okay, so with that, for all free image get bits no get data get content get okay uh down here put this to the side we'll go to Free image, get blah, 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 load from memory, convert to 32 bits, 
No, it is get bits. Okay. So that's what. Wind, AP, star, void star, whatever. Equals get bits of. Oh, I need the. Um, if I hit that star. Holy crap, I cannot type today. I can <laughs> Okay, P bit map, blah blah blah. We get that, we get that, we do this. Then I wanna put some blank data in there for the moment. Which I will do so using the error image checkerboard, this, which I have highlighted already. This up here. So I'm not doing anything to do with DK format right now. Let's get rid of that. That. Okay. Fill error image data. I'm going to copy that. We're doing that. It's the size of 512.512. We're going to have, let's say, eight checker, check squares. With the data being passed in. So that'll fill it up. Maybe. You went AT. Auto pointer, that, okay. And then we, we image. Save as free image format. We'll say FIF ENG. Bitmap is the bitmap. File name is just test.bmp. Unload. The bit. Okay, so let's run that quickly. Let's make sure that that I can at least save that. Check down here, bitmap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. If I was double it, okay, good. So that works. So let's actually get to work on exporting an actual rendered image. First of all, let's move the deinitialize to the end of the application. Let's, we don't need this anymore. Keep this here for the moment. So what I want to do down here, closer to the end of the 2D window. Uh, so this is the point where it's resolving and copying to the present image. The present image is being is doing other stuff here. All right. So here, in here, I'll do the other stuff. Now I don't. Do I want it to be? I don't want it to be like the first frame because nothing will be uh, held. So I need to do something like if frame is let's say the one hundred frame. I need like a global count for the number of frames that have actually run through. So just kind of put it statically in the main loop somewhere. Good. Uh, 64p. Starts off at zero. At the end of each frame, we do that. Okay, if frame equals 100, then I need some uh, content. I need like an image to actually put this, copy this stuff to. 
So, okay, I'm... The window, window, window. Like, am I doing it per window, or am I just doing one window? Just one window, just the first window. Okay. I need the extent of the window equals window and so it's this swap chain dot extent pk uh, 2d okay i need to create an image it needs to be static image we'll do it down here static Construct anonymous, whatever. CPU image. We'll put in a VMA allocation. VK image. I need a view. I don't think so, but I, didn't, I do need a VK format. And VK extent. 3D, 2D. Extent. Create the image. I will say CPU image format is going to become CK format RGBA eight. CPU image dot extent equals the extent we've got from up there. And then CK image create info. S type structure type image create info. Have a look at what's in. Oh, actually, I would have it in here, wouldn't I? No. Oh, here. We've got an image type. What about that? Okay, image. So format is this. Extent is this. There's one mid level that is. A 3D. Yep. Equals one. Do that image CI. Okay. I have this which is going to be cpu only instead and we'll just create the image make sure it's not result image dot image uh get allocator from the graphics section Is not a lock. Just a board in a bad case here. I don't need the uh, the image view. So at this point, what I want to do then is import the image into the render graph and then do the the resolve or blit so graphics vk render graph resource you copy resource Shorten it to that. Result equals oh, yeah. import image render job. So the 
render graph, which is between graph. The job name, which we will say uh, import CPU image. There's no fence with this. Resource name, we'll call it the CPU image. The image, the image, the image. There's no view to go with it. The format should be the image file format. Extend to the image layout. It will be undefined at this point. Is mutable. Is the image mutable? Yes, if it is. There's no semaphores and resource and CPU image. Okay, we've got a CPU copied image. Uh, let's just double check that it's still valid. Then we want to, at this point, copy this. I'm overwriting it. Uh, huh. Okay. okay. Okay, I'll live with it for the moment. What do we have? Okay, I, I'm basically doing this. But instead of the present image, um, <clears throat> DK init layout transfer DST optimal. We'll we'll say it's that. We'll say it's yeah. We need to resolve it. it's um, multi sample. Uh, it's this. So copying from that to this, that to this. We're not doing this. Not doing that. Not yet. Make sure, okay, if, if, yep, yep. Um, it's not going to be done right away, though. So what I need to do is, I need to move this out. About here. And then I need to do, oh, I also need a fence. Uh, right. So that I know when it, when it is done. So BK... Do we have anything in here for no? Hmm. Great fence. Fence create info. Equals dot oh, s type equals. There are any flags equals DK fence create flag signaled no so that's just so it's just that I need the device. And CI and then uh, CPU image dot. Okay. 
move this there. And oh, an allocator. Create info allocator that. Okay, look, those are the cases. Okay. Uh, rolling back down here. So, if CPU image dot fence, not this little VK null handle, then we want to check it. VK results. Get fence status. Get that we get the CPU image uh, fence. Um, I also want to only do this once. I don't want to do it every frame. So put that to that. Make sure this is uh, or I could just keep it blank like this. If this equals PK success, then I want to do the image dot save equals true. Now and now, now, now I grab the this. I allocate, it has to be CPU image dot extend dot width, CPU image dot extend dot height, 32 bits. Uh, we get that. We want to copy from, I need to get from a, is it an image or is it a buffer? I'm copying it to another image, right? Because I want to be able to resolve to the image. But now it's on a CPU, so I just want to get the buffer stuff. So that should mean I can do what? VMA map? Yes. Memory allocator, so that's. The allocation, which is that alloc. And that if BK result is garbage abort. We do copy, so I want to do mem copy from to the destination p bitmap data. No, to p data. I went this the wrong way around. That, that p data. That's the one we want here. So we're copying to the bitmap data. From data size of the CPU image dot extent width times height times four okay whoa end of the line okay there then I want to unmap the memory Then save that. Okay. 
once. 100 uh, frames in. Okay, so it should be done within two seconds. I do not see anything else. That's just the from before. Let's make. Let's see if this actually ha fires. Okay, that fires. So we created the image. We don't actually get through to VK res. Um, <clears throat> render graph. There you are, job. Or is it under the? Would it be under the? Mm, render graph implementation. Let's have a look at the jobs. So one when, when it hits, let's say this, when it goes through the, to this point. It's not airing out, but I want to see when it goes to execute the graph. I want to see hmm. No, it'd be under here. This is where I wanted to check. Whoops. We're here. Go through. Okay, I'm uh, skipping this job. Okay. And resolve rendered image to back buffer. Which is probably, yeah. I'm imagining I'm skipping it because I the none of these jobs are required, right? On the yeah. I don't have like an export mechanism for it. So it's literally not skipping anything except the jobs that I told it to skip, which is kind of reassuring. that render an image of CPU yeah cool let's okay for the moment let's kind of not do this I may want to add the jobs like a force kind of thing to happen That still didn't actually happen. Okay, no. Uh, I don't want to skip job if we already processed it. Or no, I want to. I want all jobs to happen. I think consumer P job. Yeah, yeah, so it should actually happen. But maybe not. All right, all right. Ah, CPU copied image, great. Um, oh, I never, I didn't fence it. So yeah, it'll never actually happen.
there we go. We now have an image down here, which is terrible. I mean, there's some of the content I'm expecting. I mean, it's the right coloration, you know, the yellow, green, red kind of thing, but that's kind of it. That's not great. CPU image extent with height. Okay, let me make sure that that's correct, right? I set CPU image here, which is the extent of swap gain, whatever it is, which is 1920 by 1080, great. And then this is 1920 by 1080, yeah. We copy the bitmap data into there. Extent with height times four. Oh, it's not up. Yeah, it's not linear. It's in like whatever format the GPU uh, is easier for the GPU to read it, not uh, linear. I needed it to be linear. Using one contiguous go. Uh, and then it's just really getting a lot slower. Oh, because it was it was not hitting that. Not that. Okay, I'm going to, yes, I think it's upside down, but that's because the zero, the uh, image is on that uh, flip upside down, I think, or like the coordinate system, like zero is like down here or up there and it's reversed in PNG format, I guess, or whatever. But the formats of Vulkan and then pre-image expected are flipped. But otherwise, this is, this is the correct thing, upside down. This is only the rendered image. The orange is like set as a background to the presentation image. This is actually what is rendered in the back buffer, and this is what is kind of copied onto, is it? Where does the orange come from? Um, let me actually have a look. Window, acquire next target. Great, great, cool. Create render graph, okay. We import image render job, okay, okay. I'm trying to. VK clear, clear, clear. Uh, is this it? Or what? What? I don't know if this is it or it's some other value. It's probably this value. We'll find out in a second. Pink versus what well, is orange, right? No. Okay, so start here. It's here. Yeah. Okay. So this is the th this is the point where who where am I? Render scene job. Ah, there's no alpha. So if I was to do, let's say, 0.5 alpha on this and then check the image output after a few seconds, I should actually put like a message that says when it's done. But otherwise, 
There we go. Half alpha. Okay. Okay. So yeah, the colors are there. It's just showing up on the main main back image for whatever reason. I'm not entirely sure. Just do something very simple like that. Okay. Right. Uh, okay, let's put that back. I'm, I don't care about the background image too much. Get out of here. So. I need, okay, either I create a job okay, so what I have is certain jobs such as present swap chain job this will, when it sets, adds the job, will set like uh, it's required so I need a job much like with the import Oh, I already have an export. Just use this. So here down to about here, we'll do this. So what we got, render graph. This is where we'll put the fence. Uh, the resource, which is this. I need, I need to get the resource back out. So. Render tower, uh, sorry, CP copied image equals resources dot destination image after this job is complete. So put this out. CPU copied image. Uh, the required layout is we we'll just keep it the same again. No semaphores, no signal semaphores to signal, and it should be out. This should mean I no longer need to do this. And indeed it does. Great. So right now the render target color image is being over. So what's happening, so this is still being done serially, is that after I've import the swap chain image and render the image. Uh, when I, after I resolve or blitz, actually that's a question. I'm only doing no MSAA. I'm just doing blitz. What happens if I add MSAA to the equation? Let's figure, let's figure that out first. <clears throat> Saved image, great. And we go down to here and it's color swap. So rather than RGBA, it's like DG, okay. Mm. I would guess that window dot swap chain dot 
surface format. I'm going to assume or I expect that that format is like BGRA or something else, like uh, something, just something else. Format, yeah, here we go. BGRA UNORM, not even sRGB. Huh, okay. I would have expected it to be like sRGB or something. When I create the image, which is probably actually closer to somewhere in here, window maintenance, da -da 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 -da. get surface formats. I get all the formats, I have a look at them. What are the formats available? I'm just picking the first one uh, out of you know okay um it's the second one that's srgb so that's just because I'm I'm still like when I'm creating windows I'm still doing it in a very dumb fashion just picking the first one. So yeah, okay, cool. So let me make a note of that. Okay, that was windows. What about for XR actually? What do I do for XR? <sighs> I don't do anything there. XR. When I create, or is it? It's just handed. It's just handed to me, isn't it? When I create session, get the stuff, get the instance, can enumerate, swap chain formats, get the swap chain formats. I'm choosing. No, I'm also choosing the very first one that's available here too. Which I'm not. I don't even have uh, the HMD hooked up, so that's not going to give me anything. I need to do the same thing for that. But okay, so what's happening is we've got BGRA. Let me check the documentation for Vulcan for what exactly is happening. Exactly. Okay. Actually, no, no, no. Hold on. First of all. If I was to go to window and I was to choose the second one, which would be VGRA sRGB, I'm blitting, right? So that should be doing the right thing. And it should be converting the formats correctly. Cool. Yeah. Okay. That definitely looks a bit different. So if I can actually down there, it's backwards as well. And, okay, first of all, am I actually blitting? Because I don't think Resolve, I think Resolve just like, just does the MSAA reduction thing. It doesn't actually do, um, the thing where it actually like re swizzles the colors or anything like that. I'm pretty sure, right? If I go to down here, VK image copy, I'm doing a copy. And I'm pretty sure, if I get the documentation. Okay, here. Let me do VK command copy image. Search, search, search. Okay. Uh, there's no capital V. There we go. Uh, almost. Close. No. Okay, can I get a space afterwards? 
almost. Okay, command, copy image. Uh, large image copies in a similar manner to a host mem copy it does not perform general purpose conversions such as scaling, resizing, blending, color space, conversion, or format conversions. Okay, so this is the wrong thing because I'm pretty sure if I go back to, let's say, Blitz, it does, right? Blit must not be used for multi sample source or destination images. Use resolve image for this purpose. Yes, yes, yes. That's that much I do know. Come on. Okay, so it must be right above it. Yeah, here we go. DK image. Don't accidentally grab that. Here, uh, blip image. Copy regions of the source image to destination, potentially performing format conversion arbitrary scale. Okay, so this is uh, not the right uh, thing to be doing here. So what I want to do, this is copy. So this is already correct for copy. So I'll actually just rename this. Copy image. And do kind of the same thing in here. This is copy. One, two, three, four. About that. This is still blit. This is copy. Go down here. This is copy. Make a copy of that. It's become blit as well. They are both very close. So we got that. We go down here. We remake the CMake thing so that I at uh, Clang format to see the new files. Copy, 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 image, blit. Here we go, blit. DK image blit. So, uh, uh, what's different about this? Down here would have been. Whoop. So, sub resource, source offset into pointer to an array of two VK offset structures specifying the bounds. That's an array of two. Uh, wait. Oh, it's two inlines. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, it's just spelling. Yeah, and then we've got an extent. Is that different? That just doesn't exist. It's literally just, so instead of like copying sub bits, it's just the entirety. And then finally, what's different about the image? The actual command call. Command buffer, image, image source layout, destination, destination image, region count, that, and then what was, okay, so it's the very last thing. Filter, DK filter. Nearest or linear?
I guess linear in this case. It's just mm, okay. Nearest, I, I, nearest for now. I'll up. I'll add it as an alt template. Call later. In the meantime, it's going to break in a big way because. I'm not sure why. This is lit, this is copy. Get out of here. Okay. That you can't find lit yeah match that's why so now that i actually do do a blitz with oh That is terrible. I have screwed things up pretty badly somehow. Lit image. Copy image. So, okay, let's go back to doing the things with copies then. Blit, 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 resolve. Copy. Copy, copy. Copy and... Copy. So doing a copy with sRGB as the primary. Saved image. Does this. Okay. What, what, what am I missing? BGRA8, SRGB. So is copy image actually doing what I expected it to do? Then what is blit? If I was to change this to blit, what would it actually do? BGRA to RGB. Some mess. Okay. I don't... Maybe, 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 maybe I am misreading how Blit actually works. Sorry, what was that? Oh, this command is functionally identical to, but it includes extensible, okay, whatever.
offset. Let's... Specifying the bounds of the source region. Okay. So it's like zero, zero, two. Okay, so I actually need to put the extent in there. That's why. I think. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? So we got that, and then we got equals what would it have been on the copy side? Yes, I understand. That's why it is. Zero and one, yes. No viable conversion from DKX to 3D to 2 32 t What are you talking about? Why are you trying to convert your... What is going on here? works here but it doesn't work here what am I doing what why okay whatever Offset. I'm not reading it right. Out of here. Okay, I don't know what a BK offset is then. Somebody tell me. BK offset reading. X, Y, and Z. goes to an end. Really? Okay. So I'm not entirely sure why the copy of the BGRA to a linear RGB is working. What if what happens if I reverse it or something like that? Like something weird, wacky. Equals.
equal speed, let's say. E E A R A H U norm. What if I was to do that? Is it coming out the exact same thing? Or is it being like modified? Right, 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 right. Coffee. This is just really kind of confusing me now. No, it's still the same. It's correct. Okay. Okay. Right, there has to be there has to be an explanation for this. Like dense offsets. Okay. What if I was to just do oh, let's check the grid again, eh? Let's just do it on the main image. Let's just kind of do that for the moment. Uh go back to this. We do blitz, right? goes from zero to the image size. That's seemingly correct. Okay. Blitz, import, copy, blitz. A saved image, which is now this trash instead. Ugh. Right, I changed this to be blit, right? Blit, blitz. Yeah. So then why is this one breaking up? BGRA. Back to this. I don't understand what's going on in here. It is going through here, right? Yeah. It's doing all this stuff, source to destination. Test, get rid of test, don't do that anymore. Destination X, Y, and Z. It's like, no, because it's working correctly when, uh, is it? It's working correctly up here. Like it's doing a blitz correctly here. Yeah. So we go inside of here and I'm making sure the source, source image data format is BGRA. Destination is also BGRA. Okay. We go carry on to this point. We go inside.
source image data, DGRA, DGRGBA view norm. Okay. So then, because this is doing a blit, this should be correctly doing the stuff. But obviously, it's not. And I don't know why. Must be, okay. Uh, blit image back up. Copy regions of a source image into a destination image, potentially performing format conversion, arbitrary scaling, and filtering. All that. Wait, the filter, the filter, the filter. The filter. Is it the filter that's screwing me over? May, uh, seemingly not. I don't know. Don't know. Do not know. I'm going to have to have a bit of a think on this. So, BRB. Okay. What if... What format is uh, it, actually? Hold on. Am I just, like, completely wrong and free, uh, free image actually does it in VGRA format? And I'm, and I'm the one switching it backwards? Image loader down to about here. Okay. <clears throat> I get the managed memory data. I load the image from file. I get the new bitmap information. That's great. I hold on. This is the Okay, okay. Byte pixel. have it backwards, don't I? Pixel data, pill data is the pill data. Or is it? I'm not doing anything. It is literally in BGRA format. Oh, come on. Okay, let's undo that. So I can actually uh, see sections of files again. G A R eight A eight. That's wrong. The blit is still wrong. What about the MSAA one? It could just be a driver thing. And I'm pretty sure I'm using Vulcan, Radeon, Vulcan. Or Mesa, Vulcan, Vulcan, Radeon, whatever. So that's that's corrected. So I'm, I just had it backwards, and I don't know what's going on with the Blitz. That's why copy was working in the first place. And then 
it broke when I changed from copy to blit because then it was reversing the bit. The uh, reversing the swizzle. Great. This was in colors differently. Great, 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 great. Great job, me. Fantastic job, me. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that. This was mu too much of a mind blower for today. My uh, my own incompetency on be uh, on color formats, but I do have an image coming out, even if it's not for. Uh, th actually, hold on. Let me let me do a quick check. BRB. Okay. Yeah. Uh, using Blit on a non-multi-sampled image does work correctly on an Intel device, on an Intel graphics, integrated graphics chip on the, on the laptop. So I'm just going to hope, since it's a one half out of sample size, I'm going to hope it's a driver issue in Vulkan Radeon rather than um, with, with the blit command than something else for the moment. Actually, could I? I could actually test this on Mac. Actually, let me, let me check there. I'll get a two out of three. BRB. Okay, yeah, it also works on an M1 Mac Mini. So I am... I think it's just a driver bug. I'm hoping it is. I'll, I'll, I'll look at it. Driver code maybe later. But I'll, I'll leave it there for now because I don't know. Because that was enough for the moment. Next time I will go back into, I will go deeper into the rendering, uh, render graph stuff and try to help help fix that stuff up. Um, the transition, image transitions between different uh, render jobs. So till next time, cheers.